how well your gloves handle keeping you warm. Right now we're in minus five, okay? It's at minus four, minus five, wind chills making it like minus seven. I'm testing the MPAC gloves. I'm testing Realtree based uh, gloves. And I thought painter gloves were quite kind of interesting because they got a really tactile thing for when you're pulling the trigger because that's what it's really all about, isn't it? It's about feeling the trigger. And these ones, these MPAC gloves have a really neat, they're made for this, for shooting. And they have um, plastic on the back here that actually can protect. Like you can work in these and you can do this, but my finger length, okay? So here it is, finger length, what do you got? I've got medium, okay? I'm a medium kind of guy, all right? 200 pounds and five foot nine, nothing. But again, the I have finger a uh, shooting finger that's, about 3.2 inches, okay? 3.2 inches. And when I go to put these on, okay, I'm just gonna work with the, the trigger finger, so they feel really nice. However, when you put your finger in that trigger, okay, I'm getting, like there's, there's a slack here, and it's, it's all three quarters, if not an inch, let's see, specifically, I'm getting about, easily, easily a half an inch of, on these medium gloves, okay? I'm pressing down here on my glove. And that's, that's that really makes it a, um, not a good glove for me necessarily. Maybe for working outside and stuff, but I want something a little tighter. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a shot here first with these and feel the experience and see how these go. And uh, let's let's see let's see how they actually feel real time. Always putting on your your hearing safety eye protection. Make sure everyone's ready to shoot. This is an WK180C, by the way. In case you're wondering, a semi-automatic, one of the last black rifles, 2022. Going in the trigger guard, there's a whole bunch of the end is hitting the trigger guard and going in. Okay, this is my first time out. Safety's on. This is my first time out in the winter with this rifle. Um, I'm really not enjoying this pull. Um, here's how the target looks, in case you're wondering the first four shots. I'm also um, deciding the dexterity, these are good. And I like the protection, uh, but there's no ricochet going on, so I don't gotta worry about my hand getting, you know, um, bullet shells or anything like that. And it's not as, Sticky as I'd expect for the pull. But again, these are good for um, handguns too, but it's the trigger. I'm really not um, into it. I like, I, you can really feel the trigger. Uh, really important. I'm, I'm really enjoying the tactile response of the, of the pull. So I know when it, you know, um, it, or, you know, being surprised when it, it goes off. But I'm going to have to say these are going back. Now there are another so, sort of um, set of gloves that are even more. And I have a friend in uh, Manitoba, Winnipeg. Shout out to you, Lucas. Um, that he's a knife collector and stuff. I'll put links down below for him. He's amazing, gets you some really good steel. Um, but he, he bought the uh, more expensive ones than this and they had, cause it gets cold in Winnipeg, you know? And so he got the ones that had more um, uh, covering on it. So uh, that I think I'd recommend those for the cold weather because my hands are getting cold, but they're not that bad because I'm kind of like warming them up. There's not a lot of wind chill. So minus five, these are doing okay. Um, however, Let's check out these real trees that you can find at Walmart. You can get them at Canadian Tire, Amazon. You can get all these things. I got these ones at uh, um, on at uh, Bass Pro and whatnot, and uh, they, it, they're good. Um, but these ones, these real trees, these are for hunting camo. If you're going turkey hunting because you got to hide. You know, quiz question: can, Do you need uh, camo for for deer? Not necessarily. They don't see like wild turkey. Wild turkey have like freaking uh, eagle eyes but anyway these cheaper too they got grip they got padding on the knuckles wow like instantly and they even have look at that on the trigger finger here you know they even have a little dexterity for hunting and whatnot i'm really loving these okay i'm going to take a shot with the real trees now and by the way all the links are in the bottom to, to go and buy these yourself and start your research to get the ones you like also oh much much better going inside the trigger guard with these real trees. And the warmth, much better. All this like, 
This is kind of like a Halloween outfit. You got to be careful with these things because you could pull the trigger accidentally with the fabric of your glove if you're not careful. You got a light poundage trigger, which I've got a custom diamond trigger in here. That you can put in these WKs. I'll put a link down below also. They're amazing triggers. Oh, I can feel the trigger. I can feel it through it. I'm in love with these real trees. Sorry, uh, mechanics. Uh, this is what their brand mechanic impact. Um, lovely, cool looking. They got that tactical look for the guys that come in at night and s save the people. But um, police and military grade, you know, that's what they, they say about these. But, you know, I'm, um, I'm not into them. I'd probably use them on a work site. Um, you know, might go for that. Uh, but I'm going to have to give these uh, real trees a total, like, get them. They're great for the winter and they're warm and they're, they're flexible and I feel safe in them. And kind of cool camo too. I'd like to get the white camo though, because it's winter, right? I think there's a snow patrol guy. Um, anyway, so I'm giving these a better grade than the Impact and say for my medium hands, they also go um, very well. They're pretty snug at the top here, which is pretty fantastic. And the tactile response on the trigger um, doesn't get in the way as much when I put it into the trigger guard, which is key. Keep your finger out of the trigger guard until you're ready to shoot. Remember that one? That's from training. All right, um, so now, Dun, dun, dun. I had to do it. These are painting gloves. Look at the tactile response on these painting gloves. They are amazing. Um, so, I mean, like, I think the cold's not going to hit. And I mean, you could throw snowballs with these too if you really wanted to. But the thing is, is that, oh my God, and they slip into your jacket nice. These are the best. These have no slack whatsoever. And it's like, oh my God, like that is, that's pretty amazing. I'm um, thinking if you ended up getting cold around here, maybe build something on that. But I'm going to take a shot with these simple painter gloves. And right now, cold, no. Te dexterity, fantastic. No slack on the finger, no. And this is like grippy, man. Like, wow. Like, it, it annihilates both of those. But I still think the real trees have a little bit more warmth when it does get cold in the windshield. These might actually suffer. But I would actually go for these in like spring weather and stuff. If you're out hunting and stuff like that, going deer season, these are fantastic let's check them out and I'll, I'll confirm that when i shoot bam it's really interesting shooting in a winter jacket by the way they're so good that i don't even have to be enthusiastic about it i'm totally in love with this simple membrane above a hand with total grip on the actual um stock the you know when you when you when i'm adjusting it the, the, the grip is just phenomenal. I mean, like, I don't have to, you know, think about things. Do I have something? Is there something behind my finger? You know, I, I could even load, you know, these, the, this ammunition here, pop it out, pop it in. I think way better for handgun shooting even. And, you know, maybe I'll do a video in that next. Um, just keep uh, aware of that one. But I'm totally in love with these simple painter gloves. I mean, you can get other ones that are a little bit more rough. And I just brought some old ones out for fun. But these gray ones with this membrane plastic, wow. But I got to check these Milwaukee's out. Now, this Milwaukee, okay, these are for people that are working outdoors. Like, this is, this is the stuff. And this brand is brand cut level. And this is large 9-inch, okay? So I'm going to put these on. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, this is the first time I've tried these. This is all real time, newbie level, you know, even a shooter and whatnot, but I'm, you know, getting up to speed and I had to come out winter camping, but wow, even the, holy geez, these are amazing. Is there any slack? The smallest amount that I would say that these are the winners, but let's check it out and make sure of that. Okay, two simple shots. I'm going at a fast rate here, by the way, so don't judge me. Um, let's let's take the uh, drop it out. Empty. Oh, that was fun. Um, wow, wow. I feel that. I'm loving it. And by the way, this WK180Cs, man. They're they're nothing really to like, uh, you know, sneeze at. The, this is an amazing rifle. Like fun stuff. I mean, you bring these semi-automatics out to the range, sometimes you get the purists that are like, you know, the, you know, the barrel and the, and the accuracy and whatnot. This does great at 50 and 100. But with these gloves out of the Milwaukee, the painter gloves, the 
the real trees and the mechanics impact this has the best it doesn't have a lot of room here in the end of the finger it has grip on it really good grip the whole glove it's warm like scuba diver kind of level insulate kind of stuff um and it's yeah super warm and you can feel the trigger feel what's going on i feel like it's just a second skin really if there was a brand name i'd label these second skin i'm gonna have to give milwaukee the win in this uh, newbie shooting in the winter at minus five uh the, the the award um i'm definitely going to be investing in some more of these and getting them in and i'm taking some of the other ones back which will i keep the painter gloves and the real trees but these impacts are going back sorry about that mechanics um but i will try some other gloves maybe in colder weather and stuff and maybe um down the size those were a large okay i thought that it would do and unfortunately um the large wasn't good good for me so maybe the mediums were better and maybe that was my call but still i'm not into the gri non-grippy thing for uh, for handling my um firearms it's all about the milwaukee so thank you very much and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below remember to subscribe and check these two videos out also because they're in the firearms arena and they're fantastic and i love to investigate that stuff and i'll see you in another video bam